What's up you guys? All right, so I wanted to give you some exciting news, some really great updates on what's kind of been going on in my life. Um, I've been doing a lot of PA education about, you know, getting into PA school over the last couple of weeks and some of the things that you can expect in terms of like salary and best places to live. But let's get into a little bit more lifestyle stuff, my lifestyle as a PA and maybe what you can expect when you decide to go into this profession. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's on. welcome back to my channel. So as I said, I have some exciting news for you guys. I'm really excited about it, um, but I'm gonna tell you guys in a little bit. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys really quickly. It's gonna be a very, very quick video um, about what's been going on. I know some of you guys have been asking why I haven't been posting as much on Instagram. It's because I've been busy. I've been doing a lot of things outside of social media in terms of like my career and profession um, and the path that I wanna go on. So, you know, trying to work on GTC you and that model and see how uh, it can mold and meld to better fit you guys' needs. So if you're interested in consultation sessions, personal statement reviews, mock interviews, please head on over to GTCU because you do not have to be a member of GTCU to take advantages of those uh, services, okay? Uh, but in the upcoming weeks slash months, that may be revamped where you can just pay a one-stop price and get everything all inclusive in terms of like virtual shadowing and, you know, tests and, um, you know, other aspects of GTCU that we have to offer. So uh, stay tuned for that. But check GTCU out. Um, I'll leave a link for it in the description box and, you know, you can see uh, the website right here. All right. Um, now, with that being said about all my stuff, so I wanted to talk to you guys about the, the exciting stuff that's going on in my life. So, um, I am officially no longer primarily a trauma PA. I know, it's sad. Um, <laughs> It's sad, you guys. Uh, I love trauma in terms of all of the aspects of things that I've gotten to learn and do uh, as a new grad. It was amazing. It's crazy that I even got into the profession, um, specifically that specialty. Uh, but um, you guys know where my heart has been. Where has my heart been, y'all? My heart has always been with women's health. And um, I am officially, I started uh, a few weeks ago, but like officially, officially started last week. I am officially primarily a women's health PA. Now, what does that mean, you guys? That means that I am happy, y'all, because it's also difficult to get into women's health directly out of PA school. And I mean, that goes to show because I didn't get into it directly out of PA school. I had to wait a few years before I could get into this particular specialty because it's all about experience. Um, and so with that being said, I'm really excited for what, you know, God has to offer, like what this landscape has to offer. Because women's health is so broad um, you know there are various different aspects of women's health that you can get into you can do like the endocrine and re reproductive health you can do your you're more like office like outpatient stuff where you're seeing women with their like daily issues you can do more of like the fertility side or infertility side of women's health um, and then you can also do what I am doing which is the inpatient side so what does that mean for me what is the day of like an inpatient ob gyn PA look like now it's very similar to my my days as trauma which is what I really love I'm still on the 24 hour <laughs> hour shift thank you Jesus I'm so happy about that because um, that 24 hour PA shift, you guys, like allows me to have a lifestyle that I have grown accustomed to, okay? That I'm really, I really enjoy. I enjoy like going in for 24 hours and then having three or four days off and then going in for 24 hours and having seven to nine days off. Like it, it's nice, okay? It's very nice in terms of how uh, I can plan my life, plan vacations, plan time with my husband, you know, t plan time with my friends, um, travel, which is something that I am now loving to do. So it's, 
it's nice. So I still get to do 24 hour shifts. Uh, however, there is more, I would say, OR time than I had when I was a trauma PA. Because in trauma, we are, we have a residency program. So there are a lot of general surgery residents uh, on our service. Therefore, they get priority because, you know, this, this, this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna be surgeons and they need to know how to operate in the OR. So a lot of like all of the daytime surgeries they go to, and then if they're on call, they would go to the nighttime, like see, you know, emergency surgeries. However, um, when they're not on call, that's when we as the trauma PAs would go into surgery. Now, with that being said, like as far as it goes for the OB guide PAs, like we have scheduled C-sections and, um, you know, we have uh, like emergent gyne procedures and or procedures that weren't necessarily scheduled, but, you know, a woman comes in and is like, yeah, you know, I want um, a tubal ligation or something like that. So those are things that are typically involved in our day. So when I come in as an ob PA, I will get my sign out like we did with trauma. However, there may be C-section scheduled for that morning, so I would immediately go um, to C-sections. And then my day starts in terms of like rounding on patients, making sure patients are ready and prepared for discharge in, uh, in the upcoming days. Um, and then just also fielding consults, which is again what we did with acute care surgery, which encompasses trauma and general surgery. So still very much what um, I did before, just a very, you know, little nuances, little different here and there. Um, but I will show you guys a day in the life of an OB guy PA. <laughs> That's me uh, very, very shortly uh, after I get my feet kind of wet um, and, you know, learn learn exactly all of the things that I'm expected to do. But that is the exciting news. I am an OBGYN PA. I'm very, very excited about this. I'm very excited to share this with you guys. Um, it, it's uh, like I said, I showed you guys how easy it is to switch speci specialties and it is very easy to sp switch specialties, especially if you are in, man, there's a lot of in that but especially if you are in um, the same hospital system and you've been there for a while it's very easy to switch ac across uh, different service lines and um, you know lots of people have done it there's been people that have gone from trauma to ICU or trauma to neurosurgery um, and and vice versa and so uh, lots of lots of switching in the PA profession so that you can get different feels of different things and also you can you know maybe your lifestyle changes and so you want to work 12 hour shifts versus 24s or you only want to come in on day shifts like whatever the case may be um there is a space for you as well so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any other questions for me go ahead and leave them in the comment section below you know if anything has arisen or arisen um go ahead and drop a, a comment or a question for me if you haven't already done so like this video follow me on instagram at adana the pa and on instagram at get that's university where we help you not not only get to into but through PA school okay um, and we do that through mock interviews and uh, consultation sessions and personal state re reviews okay so go ahead and check us out thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys next time